Everything about the arrow was remarkable. It was an easy plane to land. Its ability to climb was effortless and swift, with maximum ceiling never ever even reached during the test stage of the six aircraft that were built. Perhaps one of the truly remarkable aspects of the arrow was that there were no prototypes of this aircraft ever built. This program was the first and probably only military aircraft program that created only production line aircraft. The arrow was designed by the most enthusiastic group of engineers ever brought together. That they would create only production aircraft was an unheard of achievement, said test pilot Cope, who ran up some five and a half hours on this phenomenal arrow. He also described the cockpit as something wonderful design, something that is not normal in fighter aircraft. The Euro's cockpit was one of compromise between the, what pilots wanted and the engineers wanted. Usually explained the cop, cockpit design of one of function with little thought given to the pilot comfort and convenience. Today all that remains of the original six arrows to roll off the production line is a single nose cone located in the Canadian Museum of Flight in Ottawa. Everything else was destroyed. The replica before you today is an exact duplicate of the original. It's, come, it's a culmination of a dream of Alan Jackson of Wetasco in Alberta. Alan believed so strongly in keeping alive this proud period of our aviation history that he built this aircraft to honor those pioneering Canadians. This sleek modern fighter that still eclipses most modern designs today is close to 40 years old and is truly a remarkable tribute to Canadian technology. Ladies and gentlemen, the Arrow.